Hey guys, what's up? Yo, Kurama here. Before I get on to the review, I want to tell you guys that this is my first monthly recommendation anime review that I will be doing recommended by you guys. And if you want to know how to recommend me an anime to watch and review, then make sure you stick around till the end of the video for more information. Now to get on to the review, this will be our anime review of the anime series Clanad and Clanad After Story. So Clanad and Clanad After Story equal up to 47 episodes and after Clanad ends, After Story straight up starts. This is a comedy, drama, fantasy, romance, school, slice of life, supernatural anime. And even though it's a supernatural anime, there's not that much supernatural things going on. But still, it does play a part in the series. The series is heavy on the romance, and I definitely love that. But it's a totally different kind of romance anime compared to others because there's a lot of conclusions happening. And that is pretty rare in anime. But the story is pretty much about Okuzaki Tomoyo and Nagi. Okazaki is this dude that is a delinquent in school. He's a senior year. He doesn't pay attention in class. He skips class with his best friend, Sunahara. He has a bad life outside of school because of his relationship with his father. His mother died in an accident. Yeah, this guy has a pretty sad life. But one day he's walking to school and he sees this girl named Nagisa just standing there outside of the school property just muttering something to herself and he ends up talking to her and the relationship starts growing since he finds out later on that Nagisa is actually held back and she's actually a year older than him and she's a senior. She really shy, she can't really make friends and he takes her pretty much under his wing and helps her create the theater club, introduces her to a lot of friends and just pretty much becomes her savior in a way. And when it comes to that, that's pretty much all I could say. The first Clanad series is mainly school life, but after story, there's a bit of a time skip and I won't go detail. I won't even mention the synopsis because I checked out the synopsis in my anime list and that already is a spoiler. So I'm not even gonna read or tell you guys that synopsis, but after story pretty much continues on the life and into adulthood. There's still a little bit of school parts in the beginning, but halfway through the series, there's time skips happening. We see conclusions to characters, stories, and all that kind of good stuff. But yeah, this series has a lot of characters, and 90% of them are females. We got Kyo, we got Fuko, we got Kotomi, we got Tomoyo, we got Ryo, and all these are females that are really good friends with Tomoya. And you would think that, okay, there's this one guy and a bunch of females it's another harem no this is not a harem anime and it's an insult to the series if you call it a harem anime so do not call it a harem anime there's not even any harem aspects other than a lot of the girls have feelings for Tomoya but it's not like they jump all over him like in harems. This story was adapted from a visual novel so in the visual novel you pretty much have a choice to pick which girl you are gonna go with but obviously in this anime series they chose Nagisa as the main girl so the relationship between them is the most developed compared to the other girls. Also more important characters play their part like the best friend of Tomoya Sunuhara who is awesome and has one of the best moments with in the whole anime. It actually happens in Kalanad After Story. I don't know if you guys know, but during his whole sister, when she comes and tries to help him out, that's all I'm gonna give you. That's only a little bit of tip to the people that actually have seen Kalanad After Story and they probably know what I'm talking about. Tsunohara and Tomoya, awesome best friends, crazy stuff, awesome character. We also see Nagisa's parents, Sanae and Akio. And Akio is probably one of my favorite characters of this whole series. One of the funniest anime characters I've ever seen overall in any anime. He's just an awesome, awesome character and you guys know what I mean if you've seen him. But yeah guys, this anime series is a must watch. I cannot recommend it enough. The only reason why I was setting this anime to the side and not checking out sooner is because I have watched the anime series known as Air that is done by the same people that created Clanad, Angel Beats, and Canon, Visual key I, I i just hated them just because i've seen air and it, i just despised air and i thought every visual key series was, was like that and no i was so wrong i'm just kicking myself now for not checking the series out any sooner but finally my friend peppered ham and you guys recommending this anime to me above all other animes this month have finally made me check it 
out and I absolutely loved it. And I really cannot recommend any other anime at this moment more than I can recommend these two seasons of Clannad. As I already told you before, the first Clannad series is their mainly school life. Clannad after story has a bit of school life, but there's time skips. There's adult life in there as well. So you can already know that this series takes place from school until adulthood so there's a big portion of the life of these characters that the series covers and it just becomes insane there's so many sad moments man Tomoya I don't know how he does it how did he survive holy crap this is one of the saddest anime ever I know a lot of people have completely bald cried buckets and rivers watching the series I didn't cry that much but I did have a couple of tears go down my cheeks as I was watching this anime and this anime has definitely made me you sit back and just think to what was going on what's happening and try to visualize myself in the situations that the characters and especially Tomoya was in and trying to put myself in those situations and man this series just makes you think it's it's great another thing guys you can watch this both dub or sub I recommend either or the dub surprisingly was very good and the voice actors portrayed the characters very well I did watch Clannad the first season in dub and I watched the second season after story in sub so I got the both experience from it and I cannot choose a better one and that is pretty rare when it comes to an anime so definitely check out whichever one you believe is better or more comfortable for you guys to watch but yeah guys to wrap this up I cannot recommend this series enough check it out this has become one of my all-time favorite animes and the rating that this series gets a lot of people say it's overrated but heck no the rating that it gets it a hundred percent deserves so Yokurama recommends it to to the max but yeah guys if you have seen clanad and clanad after story then leave me your thoughts and comments below in the comments section letting me you guys know what you guys think of it you guys agree disagree what do i have to say about it let me know your favorite characters below and all that kind of good stuff looking forward to reading through that and if you are gonna check the series out which you must if you guys take my recommendations to heart this is a must and you better check it out then come back afterwards and leave me your first impressions and your overall thoughts of the series after you have watched it so yeah guys, that wraps up my first recommendation anime monthly review. To recommend me an anime, click the Facebook link in the description below and like that Facebook page and you will see a thread there asking you guys to recommend me an anime for the month of August that at the end of August you will be getting an anime review and the way it works is you write the anime, you can write as many anime as you want but make sure it's at a different comment each time so that people may like it and the most likes that the anime that is recommended recommended gets will be the next anime that I will review at the end of August. And also make sure to thumb up the comments that you think are worthy to get the recommendation checked out by me. But yeah guys, I'm Yokurama, Facebook and Twitter in the description below, so don't forget to like and follow me there. If you like this video in particular, then make sure you favorite it, and if you're watching me for the very first time and you like what you see and you want to see more, then click the subscribe button up there to see more. And baby I'm out. Peace.